What's up, YouTube? I'm Steven, and this is Trinity Tech Talk. On today's episode, we'll be comparing the Fractal Define 7 closed case with the Praxis Wetbench SX Pro Angled Edition, which is an open case. We'll be running some benchmarks with a lot of controls, and we'll be comparing temperatures. Let's go ahead and get into this thing. So I was searching the web and I was looking for a open case to make life easier when I'm swapping out and doing tests. And I came across the Praxis Wetbench SX Pro Angled Edition. I picked it up off of Primo Chill's website. I did have some issues, but let me tell you, their customer service was fantastic. So if I had to shop with Primo Chill again, I absolutely would. Now, a little bit more about our test. The first thing we do is we're gonna run everything in our Fractal Define 7 case. Our controls are gonna be a 2080 Super, an Intel i7 10th Gen, an ROG Strix 850 watt power supply, an ROG Strix 240 AIO in the pool configuration with static pressure fans. The benchmark will be ran with 3D Mark custom CPU bench in a 20 minute loop. We'll cool down for an hour. Our room temperature is gonna be 23.3 degrees Celsius. The first test is gonna be all fans ran at 25%, one hour cooldown. Next test, all fans run at 50%, one hour cooldown. Next test run at 100%, one hour cooldown. After the test concludes within the Fractal Define 7 case, we're gonna switch all the parts needed over to the Praxis wet bench, and we're gonna run the exact same test. We're gonna look at the delta in temperatures to see if having an open case makes that big of a difference in temperatures. So starting off with our Fractal Define 7 at 25%, we have an average temperature of 60 degrees Celsius and a maximum temperature of 74 degrees Celsius. Running that same setup at 50% fan speeds, we had an average temperature of 56 degrees Celsius and a max temperature of 68 degrees Celsius. Now maxing all the fans at 100%, we had an average temperature of 53 degrees Celsius and a max temperature of 66 degrees Celsius. Now taking the same GPU, CPU, AIO power supply over to the Praxis wet bench, setting the fan speed to 25%, we had an average temperature of 53 degrees and a max temperature of 68 degrees. Running that same setup at 50% fan speed, we had an average temperature of 50 degrees Celsius and a max temperature of 64 degrees Celsius. Running the fans at maximum speed, we had an average temperature of 48 degrees Celsius and a maximum temperature of 61 degrees Celsius. All right, now that we've ran all the numbers, first, if this is the kind of content you like to see, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Most of them are gonna be within a five degree delta. So we're not extremely worried about temperatures. I think this really comes down to an aesthetics. If you prefer a closed case, which mind you is probably gonna do a lot better job of keeping dust out depending on your positive negative pressure of your case. This open case, while it looks very cool, I'm probably gonna collect a lot of dust on it. Um, I am pretty meticulous about cleaning the dust off of my PC, so I only imagine that I'll be the same with this one. Um, this is gonna be my test unit, it's not gonna be my main rig. My main rig, I'm still, like everybody else, trying to get lucky and win a 3000 series GPU, so yeah, whenever that happens, I'm not paying scalping prices. But anyway, that's another video. All in all, I'm pretty excited about this case. It looks great. Let me know what you think below. Again, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.